Suzuki's S-Cross compact SUV gains a sharper look and more equipment, but otherwise continues as before, offering the brand's 48-volt mild hybrid tech, courtesy of the company's 1.4-litre booster jet petrol engine. The electrification claims to deliver a 20% running cost improvement. Plus, there's plenty of space for a crossover of this size, lots of kit for the money, and, unusually in this class, the option of a proper lockable four-wheel drive system in the top version. This revised S-Cross carries over the 1.4 booster jet hybrid 129 horsepower petrol engine used on the pre-facelift model. You may be familiar with the way that mild hybrid engines work, but just in case not, here's a quick recap. Basically, energy that would otherwise be lost when braking or cruising off-throttle is harvested via a kinetic energy recovery system and sent to a small lithium-ion battery that here has been placed beneath the front passenger seat. This is used to drive a belt-driven ISG unit, or an integrated starter generator, and power the engine's stop-start system. Suzuki's current 48-volt setup can also deliver a couple of other important benefits. The first is something quite unusual amongst current mild hybrids, the ability for this car to idle and even coast on full electric power, though only below 10 miles an hour. The other benefit here is something supposed to be now quite common amongst mild hybrid models, the ability to torque fill under acceleration to compensate for turbo lag. Which is just as well because this S-Cross Hybrid's K14D series engine was reduced in power a little when the MH EV tech was added to it, plus the car's electrified tech adds 65 kilos of extra weight in the case of the all-grip four-wheel drive version. But at the same time, it gained five newton meters of torque, 235 in total. The 62 mile an hour sprint takes 10.2 seconds en route to 118 miles an hour. There's an auto gearbox option and the brand's proper lockable all grip four wheel drive system is fitted to the top ultra variant. Visually, the S-Cross has always looked rather dull. So the aesthetic changes made here will be welcomed by dealers, giving this SUV a bolder, more muscular design that enhances its presence with larger and more angular wheel arches and smooth flowing lines. Inside, no changes have been made. Up front, it's an inoffensive but not unpleasant piece of design and the fixtures and fittings feel well screwed together from the Hungarian factory, although some of the materials are a bit scratchy. At the rear, the generous 2,600mm wheelbase length frees up plenty of rear seat space. Time to take a look in the boot. Now, at 430 litres in size, it's about 20% bigger than the trunk you'd get in a smaller super mini base crossover like Mockers, Eco Sports, and so on. Only if you need more space than the basic boot area provides might the S-Cross disappoint, for pushing forward the split folding rear bench only increases your capacity up to 875 litres, around half what you get from some rivals. It does help though that if you position the false boot floor properly, you can get a totally flat load bay. Suzuki reckons that the 48 volt mild hybrid tech has delivered improvements in fuel economy and emissions of up to 20%, though it's difficult to verify that claim with any real accuracy. The WLTP figures show a front-driven version of this model managing 53.2 mpg and 120 grams per kilometre, while the all-grip four-wheel drive version delivers 47.8 mpg and 133 grams per kilometre. The S-Cross has long needed a bit of extra pavement presence, and it gets it here. Otherwise, this model's attributes remain as before, namely its spacious cabin, potential for light off-road exploits, and the theoretical frugality of its mild hybrid booster jet engine. The prominent hybrid badging here might lead you to expect more efficiency benefits than are actually delivered. Its effect on everyday running costs, though welcome, are somewhat marginal. But every little helps, and the 48 volt tech is certainly useful in the way it better assists with pulling power and allows for fully electrified progress below 10 miles an hour. Whether this 
And the visual update are together enough to make customers interested in the S-Cross who weren't before is more debatable. But it all gives this car extra selling points and that's never a bad thing.